And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I have a dream. My poor little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their Don't character. Don't tell me words don't matter. I have a dream. Just words. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Just words. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Just words. Yeah, Just doing? speech. Everything Don't tell me be words be don't matter. Oh, the rough places would be made plain, and the crooked places would be made straight. Um, my topic is on green smoothies. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have heard about green smoothies. I don't know how many have tasted one. Some people say it's an acquired taste. Um, they're very, very nutritious. And I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the nutrition value of green smoothies. Um, every single day, each and every one of us in this class has to make a decision, a decision about what to eat. Um, and we can choose very low calorie, nutritious foods, or we can choose high calorie junk food that really doesn't have a whole lot of nutrition. Back in 2005, the FDA changed their pyramid um, guide. I'm sure you all have seen that little pyramid. And it tells us not only what to eat, or how, but how much to eat. Um, and it was made for our benefit to help us obtain optimal health. And the reason why it was revived back in 2005 is because there were large-scale studies, and those studies showed eating plant-based fruits and vegetables could help us deter a lot of diseases. And these diseases at the time, and even now today, over half a million Americans have these diseases. Um, their heart disease, cancer, thyroid issues, diabetes, hypertension, um, and a lot of other degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. And these studies had proven that these plant-based foods can help you um, maybe not get them. Um, and if you do, it might be an easier time of it. Um, green smoothies contains all of these things that these studies um, show. Um, they're so nutritious, they have vitamins, they have minerals, they have nutrients. They have something called phytochemicals. Those are compounds that are found in all of the fruits and vegetables. Um, and a lot of those haven't even been discovered yet, believe it or not. That's why a lot of the people in the medical profession don't want us to take synthetic vitamins um, for that reason. The phytochemicals in the plant-based foods you can't duplicate. You can't take a pill and get the same amount of nutrition. Um, there are other benefits that I like to talk about because people tell me it's not easy to make a smoothie, that's too difficult. I'm going to show you in a minute how easy it is to make. Um, people talk about the cost. They think it's um, expensive to eat healthy foods and I hear that all the time. I don't think it's expensive as opposed to going to McDonald's and getting a cheeseburger, a fry, a soda and maybe a dessert, a cookie, um, an apple pie. I buy a pound of organic spinach for $2.99. And then I put a banana or a piece of fruit in this and then some water. For $3, I can make a gallon of green smoothie. Very inexpensive. Another thing I hear about is convenience. It's not convenient. I make up my gallon, I put it in the refrigerator, and then I take it to work in little containers. I put them in the night before. This morning, I took my little um, container and I sipped on it throughout the day. To me, it's very, very convenient. Um, and the other thing is they're very, very easy to make. And I want to show you how easy they are. All right, we are going to make a great smoothie. Um, I've got some spinach here. I'm going to put that in my mix. You can use any kind of lemon for um, the green smoothies. I'm just going to pack this full of spinach. Like I said, you can use any green you can use uh, Swiss chard, a lot of people use kale, um, I just happen to like the spinach. Anytime you make a green smoothie, you need some fruit to make it sweet. Uh, a lot of people that I know will do a green smoothie with very little of any fruit, but I think that's an important taste. Bananas are my favorite because it really sweetens them nicely. And if you notice, when you make a smoothie, if you use bananas that are a little bit brown, not a lot, but they're starting to turn into brown, they're sweeter than if they're green or fresh on the fruit. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of mango. This is frozen mango shots. Again, it's just going to sweeten it up more. 
Here's a little bit of um, pineapple juice. And here we go.